It's not a big chance. I think most of it will stay over Ohio and Indiana, but you're going to watch out for that. And then next week, consistent heat. This may be the backlash for today. Upper 80s near 90 degrees, and we're not just talking one afternoon. Oh, my goodness, and the kids are already back in school. All right, Tom, thank you. Well, Sears is closing more stores, and job seekers should be really careful what they put on social media. Jane King has these stores and so much more. It's today's business report. Weekly jobless claims came in at 210,000 last week. That was a little less than expected. Also, Sears is closing 46 more stores in November. Liquidation sales are set to kick off next week. The locations are spread out over the U.S. Facebook has removed its data security app from the Apple Store. The app is called Anavo, and it reportedly violated data collection policies. Facebook is able to collect and analyze Anavo's users' activity to get a picture of how people use their phones beyond Facebook's apps. Well, Disney will pay for its hourly workers to go back to school. It's launched Disney Aspire, an education program first announced in January for its 80,000 hourly employees. The program covers 100% of tuition and reimburses for fees as well as the cost of books and materials. Now, if you're applying for new jobs, you may want to take a closer look at your Facebook, Twitter, and other social media profiles. A new career builder survey says 70% of employers do use social networking sites to research job candidates. And the top reasons people are eliminated are uh, provocative photos, drinking, or discriminatory comments related to race, gender, or religion. From the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King with your business update. Jane King, thanks so much. Let's take a look, see how stocks are performing at this noon hour. Dow Jones Industrial is down right now, 87 points to sit at 25,646. NASDAQ Composite also down about six points to sit at 78.83. American Airlines is changing the carry-on restrictions for its cheapest fares. American Airlines will allow basic economy passengers to have a carry-on bag starting September 5th. Now, the move puts the rules for its cheapest fares more in line with competitor Delta. Airline executives say they still expect about half of passengers to pay for the more expensive coach seats. Passengers on these tickets still won't be able to select a seat in advance, make any changes to their tickets or upgrade. They also board last, so there still might not be room to stow that bag in the open. Overhead bin. University of Miami and Adidas revealed their new environmentally conscious football uniforms for the 2018 season, created in partnership with Parley for the Oceans. The uniforms are composed of over 70% regenerated ecoline eco yarn. It's a raw material transformed from fishing nets and nylon waste found in the ocean. Starting August 27th, the Miami uniforms will be auctioned with the proceeds going to the Rosensteel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science to launch a fun for educational research. Hey, the nation's largest grocery chain will phase out the use of plastic bags in its stores by 2025. Kroger Company orders about 6 billion bags each year. The company, based in Cincinnati, operates over 2,700 stores in 35 states, serving almost 9 million people daily through two dozen different grocery chains. So that means you're going to have to get those ecologically sound bags for your groceries. Christopher? A lot of people were complaining to Kroger about uh, environmental issues, and that's what got them to do it. There is only one explanation for it.